Hello, Brav. We got more beer, Brav. Look at the owl, Brav. Pour this fucking bilge, bilge water. Look at it, Brav. I've become convinced that the beer out of the can is better than the beer poured into the glass, but we don't know about the beer poured from the glass into the glass, bruv. Yeah, bruv. This is a solid pumpkin ale. It reminds me of the Samuel Adams jack-off beer. Except that has a bile taste to it, and this has more of a, I don't know what you would call it. I don't know what you call it, buddy. Whereas the Samuel Adams Jacko tapers off into like a acidic bile, this has more of a tack to the end. I don't know if that's the hops or what's kicking in or spices. But they both have a sort of soury, sour mash taste to them. But this one, as I said, has a tack finish to it. little hoppiness, spice finish while, while the, the Samuel Adams devolves into further boil, stomach boil. Just taste it out of the glass, glass, bro. Yeah, they taste different. I don't know if it's just the way I'm pouring. Probably is, but since I'm holding the camera in one hand and the beer in the other, I want to pour them equally, so. Yeah. What's in the glass is more well proportioned, well distributed, and this is is more condensed sour. But right here, this is a quality beer poured into the tumbler. Let's see what the alcohol content is. I believe that says 6.7. Yes. Yeah. Although you're not going to see it on the camera because it won't focus. Oh, well. Yes, indeed, brav. It's well distributed within the tumbler. You get the full spectrum of pumpkin, cinnamon, a little bit of hoppiness. Yeah, so the sour mash taste is, like I said, equally distributed within the glass. The glass. Also has a little ginger flavor, kind of like the nitro that I did yesterday. And I kind of want another one of those. So I may go buy another full pack of those. A total wine when I cash in me bottles. Yeah. It's quality stuff. I gave the nitro an 8.3. I've got to make this probably an 8.4. They are commensurate, 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 I can't say it, commensurate, commensurate with each other. I'm probably going to score this one a little bit higher. 
just because it's more pumpkin-y. And I think a pumpkin beer that doesn't have any pumpkin essence is sort of a fraud. So, I think the criteria must be, it must be that it has sufficient pumpkin, not just scant flavoring. So on that criteria alone, I will say that the Night Owl is ahead of the Nitro, but then again, I think I put that ahead of the Great Pumpkin. I think I'll have to have a Elysian taste test off. Taste test off. That's, <laughs> so, that sounds a little bit risque, brav. Yeah, I only have a certain amount of beers that, uh, where I have multiples left since I have been trying these all of September and October. But I will have a face-off between the, at least the top two and probably more likely the top ten, just to better judge the scores. Because it's hard to taste 30 some different beers and then remember everything about them and then judge them against one another. So yeah, I'm going to give this one an 8.4 and put it ahead of the Nitro and I'll probably put the Great Pumpkin ahead of the Nitro, but I really like the Nitro one, although it's got like I said, scant pumpkin and this is Pumpkin if if what's in that word? Infused with pumpkin. Very well.